about the 92 and 97 teams that are honored today. Third and six for the Gamecocks, and they go to the ground. Bell bounces it out, and he dives past the first down marker. Work him again. And he'll move it ahead for a yard, maybe a yard and a half. I will say, it's worked on this drive. The only true tailback fan is Juju McDowell. He missed a block, and Rattler throws into the Florida bench. Third down. Tuan Wells' his favorite target on third. Rattler won't have time to get it to him. Rattler's waiting for him to uncover. Probably could have unloaded this football earlier. Watch Wells come through with a shallow cross. Didn't matter. By then, Uman Mielin was there. Over punt. Down 21 nothing and punting it back to the Gators again. This one will be marked dead at the eight yard line. I knew it would happen. You have to do it, right? After an 85 yard touchdown, the ETN family continuing to wreak havoc against the Gamecocks. Jonathan Odom make behind Richardson on this second and eight. And there's Montrell running right at the Gamecocks near the 15. Richardson wide open space. Everybody bit on the running back, and the quarterback kept it up near the 38. Run. Watch Debo Williams. He's crashing down. He's rolling around outside. And really, you pull around to have a blocker. Anthony Richardson in South Carolina was yeah on that run. And the Gators are five for five on this on the third downs. Montreal Johnson takes it ahead, and he gets past the 43-yard line. Previous possession was four or five passing the football. Johnson gets to the edge, gets into Gamecock territory inside the 30. Ends up bouncing this run wide. Great job blocking on the perimeter. Really good job up front, Xavier Henderson. Just enough to get Johnson to the edge. Get that downfield blocking. That's how you get the explosive runs. That's their fourth play of 20 yards or more. That one went for 31. It's ETN that gets to come in, but Richardson keeps it, and he's inside the 20 before being tackled at the 18. You see the fact that they've been able to just crank it out early on. Got nine minutes to go in the second quarter. Now they'll throw it, and it's caught by Henderson. The red zone efficiency. My goodness, the Gators. They get it down there running, they get it in there running. Johnson goes right at him inside the 10, down near the 8. Second and 6, and there was movement. False start on the offense, number 76. That's a five-yard penalty, and it remains second down. Three on the play clock. Barely gets it off. Johnson slipped a bit, but the Gamecocks were there ready. He's proven to be a target. Coach Napier calls timeout. Timeout, Florida. This is their first charge timeout of the half. Pearsall in the middle of the three receivers at the bottom of your screen. He's looking Pearsall's way. He's under pressure, and he's incomplete. He's looking for Henderson in the back of the end zone. Missed one from that length last week, not this time. Boy, they've been pounding the Gamecock defense. Can't even let him return one either, kicking it through the end zone. Those are the low two bright spots offensively. Rattler throws, Bell catches it, but only gets a yard or two. Florida, this is Joyner at quarterback, and he'll hand it to Bell. And Jaheim gets to the 29, but that's it. Joiner in a quarterback. He's been in the backfield before. He's trying to get it out wide. Ventrell Miller is unblocked. Rattler runs, makes a move, and gets the first down. The protection was there initially. See, they're coming in late. Princely ends up getting dumped there towards late, and you see Miller. The key here is the scramble. 
Going to throw on first down, and it's a good ball out to the edge. And up to the 45 goes Juice Wells. Passing game to get up to number three. Down to the ground, and Bell patiently waits for some blocks and moves the chains to the 47. Four receivers in this pattern with McDowell next to Rattler. Spencer doesn't like any of his options, and he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. No one back there at the moment waiting for Atkins to block for him and to carry on. He gets up to the 48-yard line. Right here is to carry a joiner right on the hash mark. They go to McDowell. McDowell gets caught from the back end as Trey Dean chased him down. Watch him come out of the frame, see him come in, times it perfectly. Timeout called with one, with two minutes, excuse me, left in the half. They do. They look terrific so far. South Carolina is going to throw it again. Kroger, three for three on the season. Wide open is the carry on joiner. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Three for three. Special teams. Sold it. Boy, he held it a while. Talked about the carry and joiner doing everything for him, and even in special teams now as a receiver. And now they're going to go for two here, and it's batted down. And Kroger, pass deflected by David Reese, but the conversion fails. Pretty remarkable what Kroger's been able to do. The most productive passer in this game. Florida's got plenty of time left in this frame with 152 and one timeout. And ETN lets it go over his head. Trying to get his Gators past the 35-yard line. Montrell Johnson gets a couple, and Shane Beamer's going to call timeout. Second and eight for Richardson. And again, it's a run to Johnson, and he gets free up past the 45-yard line. Get up on the linebacker. Flags all over the field, and it's complete to Pearsall. He's down near the 35. Illegal formation on the offense. Number 70 was not on the line of scrimmage. Five-yard penalty, still first down. And wherever they go on balance, it's always to the right side of the formation. Trying to go that way, but South Carolina's ready for it. A lose yardage back to the 40. One of the highest recruits in the history of the great state of South Carolina. Richardson's under trouble. He tries to get rid of it, but somehow held on to it as Birch. Anthony Richardson must have huge hands. Well, how, how, the ball did come out. You can see it was, when they returned, he kind of looked backwards because that ball popped out. He had possession of it. It was Birch. That, Birch that knocked it loose. Timeout on the field, 11 seconds to go. Third and 19, Richardson runs out of there, he'll keep it. And he is going to stay on his feet for a first down. Pick up of 19 yards and he moves the chains. How about that with 15 seconds on the clock and you're thinking, ah, it's a safe play right here. Instead, you get the first down and now you can take a shot. Or you can throw it quickly to the sideline. Mahalik's got a cannon for a leg. Give him a chance, we'll see what they do. Got Pearsall and Henderson to the left. Richardson's looking over there, and he throws it, and it, I believe, was called incomplete. Here, timeout, Gamecocks. Delay of game on the offense. Five-yard penalty. It remains second down. To punt. Richardson instead will throw the Hail Mary ball. Birch chasing him around. Richardson can't get free from him. And he's down inside the 30 as that time expires.